Happy Valentine's Week and Happy Valentine's Day coming up for you, TL. Thank you. Yes, I got roses today. Yeah, hey, you got roses. Hey, yeah. it's a week celebration around here. It should be the whole month, right? The love month. But hey, nice to be with you, LT. TL, fans and clubs of the Triangle, and love local music with us where we tell you where to find local music. And this is Fancy. We're social media influencers. Did you know that, TL? I, and primarily I, I, about local music, the local experience. Okay. And we do uh, specialize in the local music experience, also local food. We have a food page, NC Good Eats. Yes. So check it out. But uh, we've been started in February talking about this is our 10th anniversary for Bands and Clubs of the Triangle. Thank you. And uh, we've got a lot of announcements. We've been playing some videos. Thank you, bands, musicians, Yay. for the videos. Wishing us a happy 10th anniversary. So sweet. And uh, last week we got started off. We mentioned good friendships coming out 10 years ago. 10 years ago. And me remembering uh, the good Ooh. relationships of who? Moonlight Rescue. <laughs> Moonlight Rescue Band. Check them out on Facebook. And this week, another band, one of my favorites, uh, and that is Stone Age Romeos. Yes. S-A-R. And I'm horrible with names. I'm horrible with name names, but I just took it to a piece of paper. Okay, I think Stone Age, Stone Age Romeos, I think, was one of the only bands I probably could name on all their members. Good friendships. I've always enjoyed the friendships. And Jeff, the uh, his band, Jeff's band, Stone Age Romeos. And um, gosh, if I got something, I'm talking about fundraising. Just uh, Jeff's somebody that will listen. Yes. He'll give me some comments, some feedback. and uh, But have enjoyed all. And we've got Kevin. We've got Jeff. We've got Todd, we've got two Johns, I believe I did that right, and then we've got some rotation of two great drummers, yes. one of the one of the Johns, and um, Brit. Britt, um, so just awesome band, and actually Todd Miller lately has been filling in with some other bands, and um, I don't know the j new gentleman's name, um, but Stone Age Romeo's got to be one of the most high energy, right, party bands jump, in, in, jump, the, jump, in the triangle. Jump. <laughs> and uh, that's appreciated because one of my loves and our, our interest is we enjoy dancing. We enjoy big crowds at times. And uh, Stone Age Romeo's puts a show on every time. So I got to think about, we got to think about 42nd Street Oyster Bar down there with Stone Age Romeo's. Yes. We got to think about, of course, old or and new St Tony's, Tony's Oyster Bar. Or uh, going, the new Tony's Taps and Oyster Company. <laughs> going back years with all the great times we've had and patio yes. parties, right? Oh, In my fact, uh, recently Jeff was talking about, or even I remember two years ago, not 2020, we didn't have it, right? Uh, but uh, 2019 or before, Jeff's telling the story of, of course, patio party at yes. Tony's Oyster Bar. We'd have a um, band outside. Yes. And then we continue the party and have a band inside later that yes. night, typically Saturday night. And uh, Jeff and many of the great conversations we'd have, but he was always talking, I think one or through the years, maybe talking with Ross Miller and Crush and so forth, I think a couple of years, they may have flipped a coin or drew straws just in terms of who's going to play in the heat, outside. who's going to play in the heat of the summer outside, and then is going to get uh, the big crowd inside. going to be warm, too. but uh, Yes, because you would have to push your way through. <laughs> but uh, Oh, my gosh. When are those days coming back? But working um, through the heat, and uh, it, was not, uh, it was not Jeff's first love to be the one outside but enjoys – fans and everything else, but I remember great stories. So great friendships there. Their memory, spectacular memory of some mm. of the spotlights of the last 10 years. And I remember Stone Age Romeos, and I'll thank them right here. Appreciate your friendships. Yes. All right. You've got oh, Friday, yes, dear, Friday. right? Let me, let me put We've got Friday. We've got a yes. sprinkle of local music yes. for this Valentine's week and weekend. And um, these are some good choices if you can get out and about and some of the other things happening virtually online. Yes. We have Donnie Sasser at Wild Wings, 7 to 9. Night Sky Band is going to be at Good Times Arcade and Tavern down in Garner starting at 6.30. Over also in Garner at Crafty's Burgers and Beer starting at 6. We have our friends Tommy and Taylor. La Germana, they're going to be over at Bricks Pizza. Ate there last week. Saw some music. Great place to go starting at 5. Keith Goldston is going to be at Niche Niche, niche Wine Lounge that's Holly, uh, Springs, Holly right? Springs starting at 6.30. Mike Davis is going to be at Abbey Road Apex starting at 5.30. Our friend, our young friend, Justin West 
down in Smithfield, live crawfish and seafood. It's a restaurant, guys. You're going to eat great take seafood. A drive, take a drive. Take a And go to Joe Coke and see uh, Justin West. Uh, so then Tyler Davis, he is going to be at Flying Burrito, 6 to 9. To Die For, the full band, is going to be at Scooters starting at 5. The talented Sawyer McShane is going to be at St. Scholars starting at 6. Also starting at 6, down at Sophie's and Carrie, Epic Nights. Kirk Farmer, Kirk Farmer Bar. Well, I was just going to say, I haven't messed up the whole time. <laughs> Kirk Farmer Band. I'm sorry, Kirk. Yeah. Honey, you know we love you. They're going to be at Pickled Onion 2 starting at 6 p.m. And that is off of Glenwood behind the Carmax. I love that little place. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, Saturday, yes. Uh, February the 13th. It'll uh, be a busy night for dinners and a great night to get out to celebrate Valentine's. Uh, Saturday, Taylor and Tommy at Deep River Brewing in Clayton, 6 p.m. Traveling Gypsies is the band. Saints and Scholars looks like a 6 p.m. start. Kings of the Highway at Feigning Goat Brewery, Fuquay, Verena, uh, 6.30 for them. Jenkins and the Rabbit will be performing at Scooters, 5 p.m. Proton Jones at the Flying Burrito, 6 to 9. Blue Sky Crying uh, Trio, looks like it, yeah. at Max Tavern in Cary, 6 p.m. Mary Salvage, part of a big uh, celebration, a lot going on with Outdoor Market, uh, art, art, Artisans and such, uh, yes. Compass. Uh, Rose Brewery, so a lot going on. And that's uh, a big Mary, area. Mary Salvage, uh, 4 to 7 p.m. Nice. But I think even before that, uh, a lot going on at Compass Rose Brewery. Uh, support great purchases. Local always. Yeah, support local. Jeremy and Presley providing the music. <sighs> Listen to this. Uh, uh, it's the first annual Boston Butt uh, Barbecue Cook-Off. This place loves to have music, but more and they to, love, they love to food. Have food. They love to have food. <laughs> uh, sometimes the cost, and I think there are tickets Woo. to this. You may want to check that out. But we're talking Bud's Tavern um, in the um, Youngsville, Wake, Youngsville Wake Forest area. Yes, the um, fun place. Bud's Tavern. You've got to check that out. Gotta Jeremy go. and Presley providing so the music there on Saturday, 1 p.m. Ron Ross at Wild Wing Cafe, Briar Creek, 7 to 9. On Saturday, uh, Mike Davis at Woody's in Cary. Uh, six to nine. Kevin Lee is at Crafty's. Yeah. Uh, Crafty's Burgers, Garner, 6 p.m. start for Kevin. Uh, Nathan Wayne. Nathan Wayne is at, uh, this is the mention for Saturday down in Smithfield okay. at the restaurant uh, bar, live crawfish on uh, seafood. Love Smithfield, it. Nathan Wayne, oh. 6 to 9. Who has been on Kelly Clarkson's show, just to say, and we have him in our backyard. So go down to Smithfield. All right, guys. And we got a new light. Uh, you probably can see more scars and oh everything, so we might want to throw this I, light away. But uh, I know. I'm you've like, got Sunday fun I'm day. Like, boy, if you didn't think I was gray, whoo, you oh can gosh. see it now. Oh, Lord. Oh Let me put the glasses back on so I can see to tell you 35 where to look, go. 35 looking rough. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Looking rough? What you talking about? All right, so this is for your Sunday fun day on Valentine's Day. We have Ron Ross at Flying Burrito, 3 to 6. Donnie Lane at Catalan Tapas Bar from 4 until 9. And that's over at Preston Wood. Um, and he's had, he's had music all weekend. You might yes, want to check out that yes, page. I don't does. think we had the complete mentions for Friday and Saturday and Sunday music happening at our New bar in Cary, Cattle and Tapas yes, uh, bar. Yes, bar. Yep, yep. Um, okay, so we also have Mitch Morton at Crafty's, and brunch is going to start at 11, but Mitch will start singing at 1 to 3. And then down at White Oak Grill, the favorite starting at 3, One Horse Town, and that rounds out your fun day Sunday. Happy Valentine's. Yes, happy Valentine's week. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm LT and TL for Bands and Clubs of the Triangle. Find our website at lovelocalmusicwith.us, the free music calendar. Uh, fans, venues, bars, uh, the musicians, you. bands, fans, whoever can uh, put free music things on there yeah. so that we can go see it. So a little sprinkle of what's going on right now. But hey, share this, like it. We appreciate it. And we hope to see you out and about. Uh, we've got a couple of family things going on this weekend, but we do hope to get out and about and check things out. So, yes. uh, gosh, let me see. I think we're getting ready for about five, six days of rain and some cold weekends. So, hey, warm up to somebody. Snuggle up. Ooh, baby. Valentine's weekend. Hey, check it out. Hey, Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Share it. Share it.